All right, here's our next guy. This is Rocky. He's a Belgian Malinois. These are the dogs everybody sees on YouTube and everybody thinks would make awesome pets. But I'm gonna tell you right now, they are not for everyone. And uh, you'll kind of see why here in a minute. This guy is wound like a spring. And uh, the owner, main thing he wants is for this dog to stay and let him be able to walk away, go do something and come back and have the dog remain where he put him. Uh, now she's also, I'll show you, or he. He's not interested really in taking food from me. And it took a little bit there. The jumping. Um, but the first thing we have to do with him is I have to get him walking with me on leash and not being jittery and going everywhere so he can start to focus. So that's what we're going to do right here. And you'll see as we walk around, he's going to pull away. He's going to kind of just be all over the place. He's doing pretty good. He's not pulling. But he's looking all over everywhere else except for looking at me. Good. Good. He's not a timid dog or a shy dog. He's actually pretty confident and not scared of much. He's just a typical. What's the word I'm looking for? Good boy. Typical Malinois. They aren't like a German Shepherd. Uh, they're a lot more darty, uh, flighty, but they're also very, very, very good at what they're, they're actually bred for a herding dog, but that's kind of changed. You're not going to see too many Malinois being herding dogs anymore, but what they excel at is police and protection work because they are a high energy dog and they're extremely athletic. And extremely agile. And in general, they're a lot healthier genetically than a German Shepherd. Good boy. See him? He's kind of a pushy. Good. Good. So we're gonna do the, kind of the same thing with Bell. Is he's only gonna get any kind of attention or reward as long as he sits and has manners. But you see, they are not patient dogs. Good. So teaching a dog like this to just stay in some ways it's easier, some ways it's harder than a calmer, like a lab or, or something like that. Because they're gonna sit there and they're gonna be like, okay, what's next, what's next, what's next? Or a lab or something after you teach them the general basics, they're kind of just gonna be like, okay, I'll just, I'll just lay here. These dogs are not like that. And you can get them that are even like way out of hand to where very few people can handle them. They are not known to be overly social with other dogs. Uh, you can watch a lot of different trainers on YouTube that have Malinois, and uh, they're not out playing 
with the other dogs, like a golden doodle or something like that. These dogs, most of them nowadays, are bred to bite. They do bite work, bite sports, protection work. And so there's a lot of them out there. That's the only thing they care about is biting. So you have to be very careful when selecting one of these dogs. Because if you don't know what you're doing with them, you have a uh, disaster on your hands. But he's pretty cool. For the most part, he's, he's not bad. Like I can actually pet him and play around with him and he's not trying to bite my jacket and hang on to my clothes. Sit. Good. When we first start teaching stay, it's very short. Sit. Good. And now he's starting to take food out of my hand. I did that. On, I'm doing this kind of on purpose. Little trick is I knew he was. Come on. I knew he was uh, not going to be like the other dogs where he just wants to take treats out of my hand because he, he just has it the past two days. So we made sure he was good and hungry before we did this video. And even then he still kind of let some fall out of his mouth. Sit. Good. Good. So right there, we've already kind of, just for video's sake, that's how I start the whole process of a stay. Especially with a dog like this, what you have to have is a release command. Sit. Now. Sit. Okay. Good. Good. So you have to have that release. Now he's, this is typical. Um, you have to have that release command. So they're not just sitting there. You cannot expect them to just sit there and relax and daydream. They're not going to do that. He's going to get jittery and anxious like a four year old in class waiting for the bell to ring. Or a, four, a fourth grader, not a four year old. Good. So they have to have that release command. So they're sitting there waiting for you to release them. So they know there's an end, an end game to the whole, whole show. Sit. Okay. So you notice every time I release him, he's jumping up on me. I'm not yelling at him, I'm not saying no, I'm not nothing. He gets nothing. Sit. Spinning, jumping. So you kind of see when I'm telling him to sit just for just for a few seconds, it's already building up in him, and then when I release him, it's like, Whoa, I can't handle it. Sit. Okay. 
better. Good. Place. Sit. Good. Uh uh. Sit. So Rocket's owner got pretty lucky with him because he's a pretty gentle guy, actually. But he took his time and he, and, uh, he searched the rest of the Malinois rescues. And there's getting to be a bunch of them in the rescues because a lot of people get these dogs and they realize, um, I thought I wanted a fast car, but now I don't know how to handle it. So I've had a lot of a lot of people that get these dogs or you know working bloodline Dobermans or or German Shepherds something like that Border Collies and uh, they you know they think they come up thinking well, yeah I want I want this this awesome this awesome dog that does all these cool things but then they realize that 90% of my life. When I'm at home, I just want to relax and sit on the porch or in my recliner. And uh, these dogs aren't going to do that. So they're kind of thinking, rethinking, maybe I should have got a Toyota Corolla instead of a, instead of a Ferrari. The other thing I will say, because I've owned these dogs and they're different. It's kind of hard to tell in the video. But when you're around them all day, they're definitely different. Um, sit. Good. The ones you see on YouTube that are bite, doing all the bite work, you know, jumping walls and doing the whole show, their protection work, always remember this, is there's a huge portion of those, the only time they are out is when they're doing these videos and showing off and the rest of the time they're probably in a kennel because they're those dogs are very difficult to live with as a pet especially the ones that are obsessed with bite work you know you can't unless you're very experienced with the breed you get one of those you could have a mess on your hands good good but old Rocket, he's a pretty good dog. Good. Let's go do stay one more time, Bubba. You gotta chew your food. Come on. Good. Sit. Good. Good. You notice with him I'm a little bit more firm, not being mean or anything, but just a little bit more firm than I am with, say, like Bell or Bean. Okay, because that's what these dogs will respect. If you're soft and you're a pushover, a dog like this will rule your world. So a lot of the people that have been watching me for a long time, you remember Zeke. He was a Dutch Shepherd Malinois. And uh, unfortunately, he, I had to put him down because of his seizures. They're just getting too bad. And uh, 
So that was a terrible, terrible day for me because he was pretty much my pride and joy. He was a little bit more uh, sick, a little bit more like I was saying to where most people wouldn't be able to handle him. Um, but he was the type, the FedEx driver, the UPS driver, they wouldn't even deliver a package if he was outside. I could I could have put a $10,000 in cash on my front porch with a big red bow over it and nobody was going on that front porch. Good boy. But on the downside of that, I also, he wasn't really that trustworthy around people I didn't know. So that part sucked. Like I couldn't, he couldn't just hang out with the other dogs. I'd have to worry about him tearing up other dogs or attacking other dogs for no reason. I'd have to worry about him, you know, growling at someone. So yeah, yeah they're real cool to show off, but in the real world on everyday life, that's, that's the majority of, of your life with them. Good boy, good boy. He's gonna do amazing, but uh, this is just his introductory video and we'll keep working on him. I think he's gonna learn this fairly quick, honestly. So uh, we will see you on the next one and the next guy on deck is Dean. All right, see you on the next one.